It's the end of the year, there's no better time to take a look back at the best of WWE in 2023, and the awards in this video will include the best match, return, moment, pay-per-view, rivalry, wrestler, and breakout star of the year. With all that being said, let's get right into the first award of this video. 2023 was a year full of unforgettable moments, but what was the best? Let's go to the nominees first. We have CM Punk. That has to be a nominee because that return, like I said, it was electric and it was iconic and it truly shocked the wrestling world. Another nominee is Bad Bunny's entrance in Puerto Rico. I seriously think this was the greatest entrance of all time. It was really wild to see. Sami Zayn turning on the bloodline at the Royal Rumble is the next nominee. That was a game-changing moment. The next nominee is Jey Uso turning on Roman Reigns on SmackDown. That was an awesome moment. And let's not forget about Jey Uso pinning Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank. Nobody thought that Jey Uso would be the first to do it, but he did, ending his two-year story with Roman Reigns finally beating him. And the last two nominees are Gunther breaking the IC Championship title record, as well as Roman Reigns being the champion for a thousand days, which was very impressive. As you can see, there's been a lot of great moments, but only one can win, and the winner has to be Sami Zayn turning on the bloodline at the Royal Rumble. Nothing has topped that moment for me. It was a cinematic moment. It's one of my favorite endings to a wrestling show of all time. It was a special moment that had everybody talking about it. That was the moment of the year. We've seen a ton of returns in the last year. They've all been great, but which one has been the best? The first nominee is John Cena. It was a real treat to see John Cena back in WWE full time for a couple of months because of the Hollywood strike. The Rock also made his return on an episode of SmackDown and completely destroyed Austin Theory in a promo battle. Although it was a one-time thing, it did generate 103 million views across all social media, which is just unbelievable. Randy Orton and CM Punk both returned to WWE on the same night at Survivor Series, and both of the returns were great in their own way. And the winner of the best return obviously goes to CM Punk. The minute he got fired from AEW, people were talking about him coming back to WWE. Despite that, nobody actually thought it was going to happen. That was until it did in Chicago to a thunderous pop. The entire world marked out for this return. The unthinkable happened, and for that reason, it wins this award. 2023 was a great year for the WWE when it comes to in-ring work. We've seen many bangers throughout the year, and here are the nominees for the best WWE match of 2023. First, we have the Usos vs. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the tag team belts at WrestleMania. This match was everything we expected it to be and some. These four men had a very strong story going into the match, and the bout itself was an excellent way to end the first night of WrestleMania. The next nominee is Charlotte Flair vs. Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship. This also took place at WrestleMania 39. It's my favorite women's match of the year. Charlotte really proved she can still put on great matches a decade into her career, which is impressive. As for Rhea Ripley, she proved she's going to be dominant for the next decade. The next nominee is Gunther vs. Sheamus vs. Drew McIntyre. This is another match that took place at WrestleMania. Gunther is incapable of putting on a bad match, and when you throw in Sheamus and Drew McIntyre into that mix, you're guaranteed to have a great match. Bad Bunny vs. Damian Priest gets the next nominee for this award. These two put on a show for Puerto Rico. It was an electric atmosphere. It was really special. The Elimination Chamber match for the US title deserves a nominee for the best match of the year as well. It was an outstanding performance from some of the best in the ring. And the last two nominees are Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn, and then his match with Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. And the winner of the best match of the night is going to be Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship at WrestleMania 39. To me, that felt like the most important match. And also throughout the match, there were so many spots that were great. The only thing I didn't like looking back now is the ending. Looking back, I do think that Cody should have won. But besides the ending, the entire match itself and the buildup and the hype and the entrances really felt like the best match of 2023 in my opinion. Triple H doesn't miss when it comes to pay-per-views. 2023 was a year full of some of the best pay-per-views we've seen. There aren't too many nominees for this award just because there aren't too many pay-per-views in general, but the four nominees are Elimination Chamber, WrestleMania 39, Backlash, and Survivor Series. 
And the winner is WrestleMania 39. That is one of my favorite manias of all time. There were so many good matches. Literally four of them were nominees in the best match award. Then you also had Logan Paul and Seth Rollins who put on a wrestling clinic with a KSI appearance. Then Ray and Dominic Mysterio finally had their match, which was epic. And even Snoop Dogg showed up to put on a fight and jump in because Shane McMahon busted his knees. That was a great weekend of wrestling and it deserves this award. WrestleMania 39 is the best pay-per-view of this year and honestly one of the best pay-per-views of all time. It's time to talk about the best rivalries in 2023. And the first nominee is the Bloodline versus Sami Zayn. The second nominee is Rey versus Dom Mysterio. There's nothing better than seeing Rey Mysterio beat up his kid. The third nominee is Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. The fourth nominee is Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. And although their matches weren't amazing, the feud itself was a lot of fun to watch. And finally, we have Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch. That feud is the last nominee. And the winner of this award goes to Sami Zayn versus The Bloodline. This story was perfect. Everything from the night when he turned on Reigns to their match at Elimination Chamber to his victory at WrestleMania and the ending of the story when he finally beat Roman Reigns in Saudi Arabia was a beautifully told story. It's one of the best stories I've ever seen in pro wrestling. And honestly, in the, in the world of art, it's one of the best stories ever told. Sami Zayn is a true storyteller. 2023 was a great chance for many new stars to break out and become superstars with the new booking team of Triple H and Shawn Michaels between WWE and NXT. The nominees for the breakout star of 2023 include Dominic Mysterio. Before 2023, I thought this guy was a mid-carter for life, but because of 2023, I can see him becoming a huge star for years to come. Io Sky is another nominee who had a breakout year becoming the women's champion. Chad Gable made a huge impact in 2023 and therefore deserves a nominee for this award and 2024 might be an even bigger year for him. And the last nominee goes to the current NXT champion and that is Ilya Dragunov who put on a lot of classic matches down in NXT. And the winner has to be Dirty Dom. Like I said before, I never thought he would become a star, but in 2023, he really found success. He receives the loudest reactions on a weekly basis. He's had the most matches in 2023 and has potentially become a multiple time world champion in the future. This was a defining year for Dominic Mysterio. And now the last award is the Wrestler of the Year, the award you've all been waiting for. The first nominee is Seth freaking Rollins. He had a great 2023, putting on great matches with virtually anyone in that ring. And he also became the world's heavyweight champion and held onto that belt for the most part of the year. The next nominee has to be Sami Zayn. He had some of the best matches and storylines in 2023, put on classic matches with the likes of Bloodline. So he's gotta be a nominee. Cody Rhodes is another nominee. His highlights include winning the Royal Rumble, main eventing WrestleMania, even though coming up short main eventing it was awesome, feuding with Brock Lesnar and holding it down for the entire year as the top babyface of WWE. Gunther is the next nominee. He's been the IC champion for the entire year, broke the record for the longest reign and put on bangers with everyone. And the last nominee is Roman Reigns. He's got to be one. Although he is a part-timer, although he hasn't shown up too much, he's been the champion for the entire year. He broke a thousand days as being the champion and had very good matches against his rivals. That is a tough list and there can only be one winner, but that winner has got to be Gunther. I think he had the best character, the best matches, and the best reign of 2023. It was very close, but the ring general deserves this award for having such a strong, the best 2023. Let's see if he can have an even stronger 2024. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.